Hello listeners, my name is Mebo Msaga. I live in Machan, actually in the district of Choma, southern province of Zambia. I'll tell you the story of my home village, which is Macha. Macha is um, actually a small village but uh, developing. Um, Macha's got five schools, of which three of those schools are um, primary and basic schools, and two are high schools. We've got uh, nine senior headmen in the village, and um, he is one of the headmen of Macha. Um, Mr. Munajonga, what we have to say? He's saying he's okay. Now, Chinzi <laughs> So, changing party, Okay, he's saying, um, as the headman of um, one of uh, Mata uh, village, he's saying um, they believe in uh, farming, uh, pastoralism, and actually they don't forget going to church. Uh, one thing you should know is uh, a lot of people who are based here in Mata they worship uh, or they go for BIC church. And that makes Macha actually to be a strong community because a lot of people worship under one roof. As you can see, I was trying to help them. <laughs> Uh, still on the developmental projects that are taking place here at Marchan, uh, dear listeners, I'm now at Marcha Research Institute where I'm with Mr. Harib Hamapumbu. He's the fieldwork manager here at Maria Research Institute. He's going to tell us when Maria Research Institute started, the person who started it, what their goals are, and actually whether this institute has been beneficial to the people or not. Mr. Harry Hamapumbu, please, could you please tell the listeners, they would, they would love to know what you've done here at Macha Institute. Okay, thank you, actually. Uh, as you have read from uh, uh, the interviewer or the moderator, Mebo Musaka, uh, Macha Research Trust, as it is called now, started in 2006 uh, with the co collaboration of John Hopkins University in the United States. The person who started this uh, institute is Dr. Tuma, who happened to be the son of Dr. Tuma, who started the mission, Macha Mission Hospital. The goals and objectives uh, has been to eliminate malaria, which has been a burden to the community. It was, it was out of this, uh, Dr. Tuma, with others, started this Macha Research Institute. What has happened actually in the past 10 years or so, we have seen a drastic uh, um, degradation of uh, the malaria parasite in the community. The death rates that the Mancha Mission Hospital has reduced. Uh, we have uh, uh, example like this year, 
we have just had one case where one, one children died in the PIDS, Marsha Mission Hospital. So we have seen a change in the prevalence of malaria in the community. And really, this has brought joy in our hearts and many people in the community are there for the work much research trust or malaria research institute has done the community. And uh, apart from that, uh, the community has also, uh, the institute has also come up with other uh, programs like on TB, uh, HIV, we, uh, we have a study that look at HIV, we have a study that look at TB in the community. So this is just a summary of what actually has been happening at uh, this institute. All right, thank you very much, our dear listeners. This has been Mr. Harry Hamapumbu, actually the um, uh, field manager of Maria Institute of Macha. In short, what he's trying to say is uh, the people of Macha, uh, of Macha, they like work, working together, they work in communities, and actually they respond positively to what uh, has been brought to them. I'm sure in 10 years' time from now, we will have um, no records of malaria. So stay with me, continue seeing the place of Macha, and get the best from me one of the best hospitals it has got a lot of nurses as you can see one of them is just getting in and actually she's just to start working yeah matcha is a developing place just as i had said a lot of things are being uh, uh, started here and actually what much um in three years time here it will be a village town not only a village please stay with me and continue going around matcha at the moment, exams are uh, taking place. Uh, the second years are leaving the place and yet to be confirmed uh, uh, nurses. Uh, this is um, uh, one of the developments that has been brought by Macha Works. Um, uh, it's a boarding school that runs from grade one up to grade seven. At least um, life and um, uh, other activities have, has been made simple by Macha Works. You can see somewhere there, there are bicycles. Um, pupils who are from uh, very far, who can't come to this place to school uh, uh, on foot, they do use those bicycles uh, coming here. And it's one of the best schools in southern province, actually in Choma district, because it offers quality education. Yeah, as you can see, these people here, they are working together. Uh, earlier on, I said the people of Macha believe in working together. They believe when they put their heads together, they will come up with the best thing in life. So here they are building a dormitory for, this, for that school I showed you that side. And I'm sure it will be a best, uh, best dormitory because they put their hands and heads together. Um, this was all I, um, I had planned for you. Actually, I believe what I've told you about my matcha, about my story here, is the best of my knowledge because I've been here since 1997. So get this and don't get lost. <laughs>